Today we will visit three significant places in Georgia – Mtsieta, Gori and Uplestihe. Mtsieta is one of the oldest cities of Georgia and its former capital located approximately 20 km from Tbilisi. Currently a small provincial capital, for nearly a millennium until the 5th century AD, Mtsieta was a large fortified city, a significant economical and political center of the Kingdom of Iberia. The Svitiz Haveli Cathedral, or the Cathedral of the Living Pillar, is an Orthodox Christian cathedral and it's known as the burial site of the claimed Christ's mantle. Svitiz Haveli has long been one of the principal Georgian Orthodox churches and is among the most venerated places of worship in the region. Throughout the centuries, the cathedral served as the burial place for the Georgian kings. The walls are decorated with many Christian Orthodox icons and frescoes, including a 13th century depiction of the Beast of the Apocalypse and figures of the Zodiac. I was lucky to meet a priest passing by who invited me for the blessings and to write the names of my darlings to mention on the services in the church. Svitiz Haveli Cathedral, originally built in the 4th century, has been damaged several times during the history. The present appearance of the cathedral was built in the 11th century by the King George I. Due to the historical significance of outstanding churches in the town, the historical monuments on Tsieta became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. As the birthplace and one of the most vibrant centers of Christianity in Georgia, Mtsieta was declared as the holy city by the Georgian Orthodox Church. Another gem of Mtsieta is the 6th century Chvaria Orthodox Monastery, which is a rare case of an early medieval Georgian church that has survived to the present day almost unchanged. Chvaria Monastery stands on the rocky mountain top 656 meters high at the confluence of the Aragli and Kura rivers, described in the poem Tsiri by the famous Russian writer Lermontov. According to legend, on this location in the early 4th century, St. Nino, a female evangelist, credited with converting King Miriam III of Iberia to Christianity, erected a large wooden cross on the site of a pagan temple. The cross was reportedly able to work miracles and therefore drew pilgrims from all over the Caucasus. Gori is a city known as the birthplace of the Soviet leader and politician Joseph Stalin, with a museum dedicated to his life and retaining its Soviet era characteristics. There are many photographs, paintings, and newspaper articles about Joseph Stalin and his family, including his son, Yakov Jugashvili, who was captured by Nazis during the Second World War and asked Stalin to exchange him to the field marshal. This was outright refused by Stalin, saying that he doesn't exchange general for the soldier. The exhibits are divided into six halls and contains many items owned by Stalin, including some of his office furniture, his personal effects and gifts made to him over the years. Inside within pavilion, a small wooden hut where Stalin was born and spent his first four years. Stalin's personal railway carriage that he used from 1941, including his attendances at the Yalta Conference and the Teheran Conference. Uplistihi is an ancient rock hewn town identified by archaeologists, is one of the oldest urban settlements in Georgia. Strategically located in the heartland of ancient kingdom of Kartli or Iberia, 
the earliest traces of human presence in Oplistichi date back to the end of the second millennium BC. The town was cut into a flat stride by slightly inclining mountain. Outside protection of the town was facilitated by moats from the northern and eastern sides, by the river from the southern one, and by straight western wall down to the river from the fourth side. It contains various structures dating from the early Iron Age to the late Middle Ages, and it's notable for the unique combination of various styles of rock-cut cultures from Anatolia and Iran, as well as the coexistence of Pagan and Christian. The majority of the caves are devoid of any decorations. Some of structures have niches on the back of sides, which may have been used for ceremonial purposes. Archaeological excavations have discovered numerous artifacts of different periods, including gold, silver and bronze jewelry, and samples of ceramic and sculptures. Many of these artifacts are in the safekeeping of the National Museum in Tbilisi. The 6th century basilica was largely cut into the rock, except its southern wall, built from the rock. At the summit of the complex is a Christian basilica, built of the stone and the brick in the 9th 10th centuries. Are you hungry and tired? What can be better than to have a few sips of gorgeous, delicious Georgian wine in the middle of forgotten city? If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.